Hi, hello everyone. This is Samia from Bookfeast channel. Today we are going to see the similarities between the play The Spanish Tragedy by Thomas Kitt and Hamlet by William Shakespeare. So the Spanish Tragedy review is already in the channel in last video. Hamlet is full review. We will mention it. We will see the link in the description. If you like this channel, share it, subscribe it, click the bell icon and click the bell icon and click the bell icon. So first thing, first similarity is ghost in both the plays. In this play, Sir Andrea is a ghost. Plus Hamlet is a father ghost. So the two ghost characters are in this play a high pitch leading point. And second one, Spanish tragedy is a play. It deals with love, justice and revenge. Hamlet, it deals with justice, revenge and madness. So it seems to be the second similarity. Third one, what is it? This is a tragedy. This is a tragic scene. This is a tragic scene. And fourth one, revenge. So, this is the idea of seeking revenge. If you do something like this, 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 and plus Hamlet, we can see the main one. And coming to the fourth one, play within the play. So, this is the Spanish tragedy in the play. That is the play. What is it? Solomon and Perisida. So, what is the play? Who 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 is the play? So, that is the play within the play. We could also see this in Hamlet. And coming to the fifth point, number of death. So, in Hamlet, there are 9 murders in Hamlet. That's why there are 9 murders here. In the 9 murders, there are 2 names that are called. That's who you are. They are called Belirimbia and Herimimo. They are called two names that are called. And there is another character. Pedigreno. So, they are called Jail Kamsh. So, there are 9 deaths. That's why there are 9 deaths. This is the similarities. If you know the major similarities, if you know the similarities, you can mention the comments section. I will benefit from you. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you.